Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for December 3rd through the 9th, 2018. So let's take a moment to breathe deeply and to allow ourselves to find alignment with source and to connect to source to sort of strengthen that alignment, to allow this time to be with each breath, your intention is to align with source, to nurture positive outcomes for yourself, to become aware of the solutions, to allow yourself to really just be nurtured and fed by the guidance that your soul is providing to you right now. And to keep your heart open and see, or you may already feel or sense that the angels and God is touching your heart and expanding the light within your heart chakra and feeling the petals of the chakra, each one of them opening to the dynamic of spiritual light that is flooding your heart chakra right now. As each petal of your chakra is activated like an antenna that is connected to so many different aspects of your life and universal harmony and peace helping you to be more intuitively sensitive to the compass that of your heart's desires, helping you to find joy deep within your soul, to have greater access to joy within your soul. This is what they're writing. And most importantly, to feel safe. To not to just to feel safe, but to feel safe in trusting the messages that your heart is transmitting to your mind in terms of service. And so there are Things that are, so they're giving you the right the word grace right now. And so the universe is sort of giving you a grace period or offering you grace in order to materialize some of the things that, that you are praying for that you need, but they want you to focus on your needs or your work, and they're writing this word office again. They want you to focus on those things that you feel called to do that provide you joy. So they want you, they know it's hard for you when you have a material need and you see that you're lacking it and you feel that this is the only way to bring stability and secure it into your life and they get that and they understand it but what they would really like you to focus upon is they would like you to focus upon the needs that really fulfill you and bring you joy and this is a word they're writing joy and it may, to some of you, make sense. And I'm sure it makes sense to all of us, but I'm hearing it in the moment and seeing this for the first time. In my, and I understand this difference. We normally focus on needs from the ego perspective, which is to say the ego sees the things that are lacking and that 
when something's lacking, you have no security. You can't find peace without it. Instead, the universe, the angels, God wants you to focus on the needs that bring joy into your life. I don't know if you feel that just by saying that. It's like you're closing a gap. And when the gap is closed, then something like lack on the feeling level or on the material level won't be able to manifest if that bond between your desire and, and the thing that you want was a desire of joy, knowing that what you desire brings you joy, knowing that something that you truly are placing your, opening your heart to is a direct line with joy, is in a direct alignment with joy. And if we started placing our needs at that level, that high a frequency, then you could imagine that the securities would that you're seeking would be more sustainable and occur more often without you having to go to that place of focusing on what's not there and being desperate to put anything in that place of need other than joy. Because the things that we place there that are not, the needs that we go after that are not joy, they can be anything. And they then, those things cause us to, to experience frustration, anxiety, confusion. It puts us in a, in a predicament place of compromise, spiritual compromise. So allow yourself to focus on what you need from the strength of joy. And they're writing out the word luck, and it gives me a sense that this is the difference between those who, when you perceive someone as being lucky versus someone who's not. And that's interesting, isn't it? You know, writing the word age, and this is to me referring to the golden age that we're, um, that has been here on the planet before with the time of Atlantis, but the one that where we're going towards. And the this is a part, this is a way to start shifting accessing the higher dimensions, the higher frequencies, the higher choices, the higher experiences, to choose your needs on that frequency level of joy. Again, they get it. They get it. Um, you know, you may have financial needs or you may be feeling like you're just kind of behind in your life plan and you know everybody around you seems to be successful or seems to be lucky or safe and all you can see is that you don't have that and when you feel the way you do and you feel kind of low, you're not experiencing joy, and you're not really looking at it from the beauty, the writing beauty. You're, you're experiencing it from a place of inadequacy, of, um, you know, that's like, that's something you've done wrong or something that you, that you just can't get right. And those feelings are not anywhere near that joy. And those feelings are not going to attract happiness. So even if you get something that you are lacking, 
you won't be happy with it. It won't satisfy you because you're allowing the consciousness of your ego to be the voice for your reality. And only the voice of your soul, your higher self, can be the true security for the kind of reality experience you're wishing to receive. The, only through this vibration of joy can you find the foundation of fulfillment, no matter where you are, no matter what the conditions may be. When you choose joy to fill that void, that need, or love, but here is in joy, then you start to create the activity of hope, which becomes this light that's like a beacon. And believe it or not, it's a beacon of your truth. But it's not coming from out there. It's coming from within you. Because it is the sunrise within your soul that is stepping forward and guiding you through the darkness, meaning the uncertainty, and is placing you on a path that will establish the peace and the sense of safety that you're seeking. And you have to know that you deserve it because if hope is given to you, you deserve what it's offering. You deserve what's possible to come. And so the only thing that you have to do is trust and not let go of that hope. And to build that hope by seeking needs that fulfill you with joy, seeking a role that fulfills you with joy, making decisions that fulfill you with joy, choosing the highest vibration is choosing a need based on joy. And you have to know that at that level, even though at this stage it still is uncertain because it's developing, you're in the process, but you're moving towards it. And you know you're moving towards it because of the emotional content. And it's important, it's imperative that you think of this as nurturing yourself you know, it may not fit into the plans that you've had. It may not fit into the plans that society has for what's successful and normal. If you're going to feel sort of <laughs> like outcasted in a sense. It, it, you do feel like an alien. Once you awaken, you just don't, life isn't the same. It's not really supposed to be. That's the whole different, the whole point of of uh, waking up when you open your eyes you wake from the dream and you see reality but in this sense you're seeing everything through your soul's reality and it's a quite an adjustment it's quite an adjustment and it the doubts are, are natural it's a natural part of the change the adjustment to the changes let's put it that way because you have established patterns beforehand. You've developed skills and plans and um, perceptions, beliefs around what you were. And to not have any of that, even though it wasn't fulfilling your needs with joy, you still knew how to relate to it, you still knew what to expect, and you were coping. And now you step out and you don't have any of the skills to cope with because everything is a different approach. Even though it's slight, it's huge to your ego. It's a huge adjustment and the ego just really 
is having anxiety about it. Lots and lots and lots of anxiety about it. And so the thing that you have to end up learning to do is despite how uncertain you feel and insecure it is to walk on new territory, you have to love it. You have to try to find ways to love it, to love being yourself, to love being different. And love that the choices that you're making are fulfilling needs of joy, that you love this new vibration that, of experience, of possibilities that you are embracing and embarking upon. Let me, I'm just seeing the angel number 428. Let's take a look and see what this number is. Four is about the angel surrounding you. Two is about faith. And, and this is just generic, but an eight is about financial support. But let's see what it says here. Okay, it says, your faith and connection to the angels have opened the doors to financial security. Your faith and connection to the angels have opened the doors to financial security. Okay, so that just sort of confirms for us that. Hold on, let me get my glasses because I forgot them. <laughs> and so that number is confirming that as you choose your needs based on joy, that you're hearing your angels, you're hearing your higher self, and you're trusting. And this is leading you to a new level of financial security. One where you will discover that your joy is the orbit that attracts, that creates the orbit around the things, the financial um, things that you need. It draws it to you. That joy is the magnet for um, the securities that you're looking for. You got to learn to build, you know, build an orbit around you, around this joy. And every day you wake up, every moment, try to find joy. Try to find joy, purpose through joy. Find purpose through joy. And they're writing that this is going to sharpen your, your uh, manifestation skills. It's going to create this dynamic of abundance and this high frequency that is so attractive and compelling and filled with alignment. So try to focus on finding purpose through joy. And watch your needs become drawn towards you. Not just physically, but the ideas, the solutions, the creative solutions. Because you are the creator of your path. But you want to have clarity and confidence and passion about ideas, about decisions and choices. This is a part of the co-creative process, a huge part of it that allows you to exercise your free will with the these profound spiritual connections, I call them, or soul connections, that these emotions, types of emotions, represent. They are the navigation system of the heart. And this is why the heart is being cleared, that all the petals are like antennas in your heart chakra, and they're being activated, cleared, so that you have the perfect sensitivity to this guidance. 
And this is why we can't allow our hearts to be distracted, to be burdened, to be overwhelmed with things that create despair, that creates emotional drama and pain and suffering. I know it's hard, say, especially with matters of the heart, when something isn't working out and, you know, say a separation, I'm saying that word, and you know you need to sort of, that this person or these this group of people or whatever it is, is in your life, whether it's a romantic or just uh, professional, that you got to, that they're, they're just bringing you down with whatever it is that they're doing or whatever it is, the way they go about it, whatever it is. And when that's cluttering your heart and the sensitivity of your wiring, of your soul's wiring, you, your, your emotional sensitivity is clogged. And this is a huge con. This is what the angels are writing out. It's a huge con for you. You got to start focusing on the, the, the pros. And when you're feeling depressed, this is the word I'm seeing here, it's because something is clogging up your heart. It's a distraction. You're being, you're involved in someone else's drama. You're letting someone else or something, you know, just weigh on your heart so heavily that it's like a thick layer of dust or um, soot on each one of those petals. And the antennas reception is just really off. And that's why you start to feel anxiety. And they're saying that this is, this is uh, for you to help you to recognize that you need to lift your vibration. You know, don't get stuck in your depression or your low motion. It's a sign that you need to do the things that lift your vibration. The only way to do that is to focus on a purpose in whatever moment you're in that is centered around joy for you, that gives you joy. That means it's got to be about you in that moment. And it's also the right word integrity, that you've got to do the thing that's integrity, that's in integrity for you, not what's right for everybody else. This is about the integrity of your soul that you must uphold first. The integrity of your soul. You must uphold this first. Get yourself out of this situation or that emotional vibration. And focus on you, whatever you're doing that is bringing you joy, that the focus around it is joy for you. Okay? So let's take a look at the card for the Archangel Oracle for the theme for the week. Hmm. We haven't had this card in a long time. And we all know how I feel about this card. But, <laughs> you know, this card is, you know, Archangel Uriel is just coming, kind of coming back at you and saying, listen, you know what to do. You, you have this wisdom in your soul. There's a, the light inside of your heart that illumines your mind. That light inside of your heart chakra illumines your mind. And you know what to do by the way you feel about it. You know the frequency of joy versus depression. And that's why they're there. And you know that you wouldn't want to make, your, make a choice that makes you less feel less of your light. The only choice you have here is to choose, the, the make the decision that increases your light, increases the joy within you. 
Nobody else can tell you that but you. So you do know what to do. And you've got to follow your own light of hope. This is what is important for you to act upon. It says, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Okay? So Archangel Uriel is someone who can help you with studying or um, coming up with, you know, getting that clear idea. And it's sort of, he brings light, enlightenment. So the thing, this sense I'm getting about this week is that you need to pay attention to your very clear, sharp ideas. These really clear solutions that you feel, and they're going to be accompanied. The idea is the masculine, but it, the, an emotion comes with them. And that is the, the manifestation, that is the masculine and divine feminine together. And so you have to trust this. And it's going to come through with inspiration, bliss, peace, sense of security, confidence, love, a tremendous love. But when it's accompanied by these emotions, trust it, go with it. Don't think, just take action. Take a step. Don't try to be grand. Take Be simple. But sometimes simple doesn't mean that you're your outcome is going to be less. As if to say, we're not talking about simple as in terms of how, how hard you work or how much you do. This is simple in terms of clarity, ease, that allows you to get the best results. And we tend to work too hard to get, to think, as if to say, I'm not deserving of the results I want. And so this result, this huge thing I want is out of my league. Therefore, I'm not worthy of it and I need to work really hard. And that is working really hard against yourself the entire time. So you need to simplify. Simplify. As in, you believe you deserve this, to have ease in, in your life. That you, that you know that you're a child of God and these things deserve to come to you. Okay? Let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week. Hmm. Awakening. Now, this card is usually the, the hangman. But here in this deck, and I think the other one too... Um, it's awakening. And it says, change the way you are looking at the solution. Embrace your uniqueness. A temporary pause in action. So it almost gives us a sense that we will get hung up. When we're hung up on something, or we're, when, we're, when, we, when we seem like we just are, are just hanging there, we're not moving, we're not getting anywhere. It's because we are not seeing ourselves in that are true in our sense of true worth in that sense of true worth we're not really seeing ourselves we are seeing ourselves from the outside and we've lost a whole we're not making that connection with our higher self we're not in celebrating our uniqueness i love that here and that first situation has changed the way you're looking at something so it's like you know, instead of just being all uh, out of it about how things aren't going your way and then trying to replace it with things of a lower vibration, why not look at what this is offering to you? Why don't you let this be that you maybe need to find, you need to change the way that you've been doing things. And this moment is giving you the opportunity to get it right before you move forward. It's not it's something that's trying to hold you back. It's trying to give you the opportunity to get it right. Think about that. So think about that all day long in the beginning of the week. How is this, how is this, this um, situation trying to help me to get it right and stop focusing on what am I doing wrong? But 
and, and pray for clarity to show you how you can do it better. And I'm saying the word supplement. So there may be something that you need to supplement something for something else. Like you want to have this thing, but it's not there. And you may need a supplement. You need to replace it with something else. And this something else is probably something that's better. But you are stuck on this other thing. So you're going to need to let it go because you're trying to fulfill this need out of desperation instead of out of joy. And if you focus on a joy and orient yourself around joy, then you will find this other to supplement that is going to be better for you. All right, let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week. Okay, and so this fits perfectly right there after that. So that means you have a, a pretty big decision to make. And you can wrestle with it if you want. You know, you can, um, you can, you can, because here are two cards. That's just really, if you just want to be like face value about these cards, both of these cards are saying that you're stuck. You're really, really stuck. And here's, you know, the Archangel card saying you know what to do. And you're you're just focused. I'm like stuck. I don't. I'm, I'm just. Stuck. I don't know what to do. I don't know which what direction to choose. I don't know what's right for me. And see, all of this is your ego talking. You're not even talking to your source at this point. You're not getting one transmission. These feelings are not coming from your soul. Your soul is not saying this. Your soul is not saying, "I'm lost," because the soul is found. It knows it's found in the heart of God at all times. So it never feels lost. But your ego does. Your ego is feeling lost. And the thing about it is you are searching for your soul. Your ego is just going on about how things are wrong and how things aren't right. But your soul, you are searching for something that your soul is giving you and you can't find that answer through the mind and the thought process of your ego so you've got to this is what you've got to shift you've got to stop looking for it that way and i just saw the angel number 42 which says the angels are urging you to keep the faith simply the angels are urging you to keep the faith and what i'm hearing is this decision that you're worrying over right now, I'm getting the feeling as though you can't make the decision in this moment anyway. It's like you are creating extra work and worrying about something before you need to make the decision. You need to trust what's happening. This is what the word I'm seeing. You need to trust what's happening right now. You need to chill out. That That's... <laughs> you. That's what's going on. You need to chill out <laughs> and you need to get up off of this and the table is going to be prepared. You are going to know that you, this is why they say you know what to do. When you see the situation, when you're actually upon it, you're going to feel it so deeply and profoundly in your heart. It's going to be so clear that you're not, you're going to say to yourself, my God, why did I put myself through this? So please drop this and just be patient because when you get there, you're going to know exactly what to do. In the meantime, focus on what you do feel very clear about. That which you know is centered around joy, that your work, your purpose is cultivating this joy. Do those things that you know now with absolute certainty, for they will build the pattern and of clarity so that you will be acting within the faith of your soul that believes in you and trusts you to make the decision. No matter what it is, it knows you will make it. It knows you're going to make it. So you need to trust that, and you build that trust by Focusing on what you do know and creating the joy in whatever choices that you're making. 
basing those decisions on that joy now. It'll clear you when you get there and make the way clear for you when you get there. All right, let's take a look at the card for the end of the week. Emperor. And so this is like a whole huge shift. Now we have stability, structure, organization. This means that your plans, that you'll have a, a clear picture of what you want, um, how to go about it. You will have some component, whatever it will be, you will be sure of it. If it's um, the the role you need to play, you'll be clear of it. If you're, this is a, a leadership thing, um, if you've been asked to do something and to take the lead, you're going to be secure about what that lead is. Um, if, if this is some product or uh, project that you're finishing, it's going to all come together. It's going to be sound. So this is a card that's just reassuring that security we've been talking about. That because you set it aside, you let it go, and you focused on what was going on in the moment and doing only focusing on anything, the you know the problems that occur, that come to you, and the and and the ones that you can solve because they're divinely inspired those solutions, and you work on that, it will build the confidence, establish the breakthrough for this you know, secure outcome in the end. So they're saying that you're being excessive. Uh, don't allow yourself to get, you know, caught up like this. Simplify. Um, peace. Think about what gives you peace. Focus on the prize, meaning focus on your the what gives your soul meaning. And it's always simple. Your soul wants you to be happy above anything else. It wants you to... Have joy. It wants you, that's why the, the word enjoy. They want you to enjoy whatever you're doing. And that's the decisions that you can make in the moment. You you leave it up to to chance too much to um when you think about this word enjoy, that is your decision to enjoy. It is not something that happens to you. You decide it to enjoy. And when you decide to enjoy, no matter how awful something is, you can have a better experience if you decide to enjoy yourself. All right, let's take a look at the card I pulled from the bottom of the deck. All right, the Queen of Summer, the Queen of Cups. And I was seeing something very similar. When I see um, uh, the female breast, or, or I see a woman, and whether she's um, wearing a bra, and these are drawings or not. This tells me that it's um, that we need to nurture ourselves, or that we need to be more set more boundaries. You know, when I see the bra around our heart and our dreams, or whatever it is, and the, the Queen of Summer, you know, because she tends to give it away, you know, and she likes helping people, um, and then she forgets about herself, and then. We'll sit back and complain about it. Um, but if you take it away from her, she'll feel like she has no sense of who she is or him or he. So this is about um, this, this, this quandary seems to be around this. How much boundaries? How much should I give and how much should I take away? And if I take away, am I still a good person? Blah, 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 blah. Simplify. Focus on you. This is what the queen... Um, fails to do quite often. So I send you lots of love and angel blessings. Thank you for joining us this week. This is probably going to be posted a little early because of the holidays. Um, but if you're looking for an angel reading, you can contact me at theangelschool.com, which you can find in the description link below. Also, the daily card messages will probably, for this week, will be uh, continue or probably start a little bit late into the week um, because I'll be... In the holidays, I try to do them days before, but you know how that goes. And you can follow, find us on Twitter um, for the Daily Cart messages on my Facebook page. All the links are below. Have a beautiful week, everyone, and God bless you all.